up everyone welcome to a science video this is the first time I've done two of these in a row I'm trying to be more active on my science part of the channel because um, I love science and I haven't had much time to I don't have too much time to play video games nowadays with um, assignments coming up during midterm week and stuff so I haven't been able to focus on anything but I do uh, game on it was just crafted well on Twitch. I just haven't had time to sit down from my TV and actually play Sekiro though, but uh, it is a great game. I will definitely have some gameplay on that coming up soon. Today I will be talking about the Toritopsis Dorney, um, also known as the Immortal Jellyfish. It's uh, the only immortal creature that we have found so far, and it was discovered in 1883 in the Mediterranean Sea. But scientists didn't actually learn about its ability to remain immortal until about the mid 1990s and even so um these scientists haven't been able to witness its reversion in the actual wild they've only been able to observe this when the jellyfish have been captive in um, the laboratories and such they are generally pretty small creatures and they are not poisonous but they can stink so if you see one do not touch them but um they look very identical to two other species in this class I think it is so sometimes it's hard to tell and those jellyfish haven't been we haven't been able to prove that they can't um, remain immortal so as far as we know it might be the species of jellyfish that can and maybe we just haven't seen it yet or witnessed it yet their diet consists of mainly fish eggs plankton and small mollusks and these powers that they have is uh, referred to as trans differentiation it's basically when a cell undergoes a process that transforms it from one cell to another cell. Uh, you might have heard of this in your biology class when we talk about stem cells, how you can take um, bone marrow and you can turn it into uh, nerves or you can turn it into liver tissue and so on. These jellyfish, the way they do is they surface all the way to the top and then their tentacles retract. Um, their bodies shrink and they revert back to their pull-up state and then they go to the ocean floor and then they just restart the cycle over again and the lab studies have shown that scientists have observed this jellyfish undergo the process over and over and over and over again basically it's like if we were getting really old we're on our deathbeds and we just go snap you know infinity stones and then the next thing you know we're like sperm cell and egg cell again and then we just go on again and that way we can never die but disclaimer, these jellyfish can die if they're eaten or hunted or if they are exposed to diseases, they can die. So there's that. They're technically not mortal, but they can live forever. There's a slight like difference right there between that line. So far, scientists are looking into what it could be specifically in the genes that allows a jellyfish to do this. So we can try to take it and use it for us. Um, but it is not quite clear yet, so that might take a little longer to figure out. Secret of life, you know, maybe it's not, you know, maybe we should not give up hope on the fountain of youth yet. I know I'm not recent on this topic. When I was Googling pictures, I actually saw a bunch of videos about this. Uh, in fact, SciShow and a bunch of other channels that I am subscribed to already did subjects on these that I haven't seen yet. I just saw them now when I was um, when I was doing my research. The videos popped up, and I was like, "Oh, well, damn!" I mean, I knew I wasn't the first one to do this, but I just found out about this jellyfish last week, and I thought it was really interesting. So maybe if you haven't seen it yet, then this is my chance to educate you. And if it's not, then I educated myself. So really, we all win in the end. That's gonna be it for this video. Wrapping up the video pretty quickly. Didn't um, try not to make these too long because I want to make them informative and not too lengthy. Next week's video, I have no idea what I'm gonna do yet. I gotta focus on a paper and a project that's due soon. I probably will do a gameplay one very soon or a video game skit whenever I get the chance to do those. But for now, I hope you learned something today. I know I did. I learned a lot of cool stuff. Some articles are linked below if you want to read about them as well. Though I did my best to sum up most of the work already. Um, new videos every Wednesday. And as soon as the summer hits, once I'm out of class and I got the free time, I promise I will be making some quality content. And I used to make YouTube videos back in the day. And I've always, I always kind of wanted to be a director when I did my uh, CST class. I got really interested in filmmaking again and that's why I bought my camera and I was like well I can make YouTube videos again except this time I have a job I'm not 14 or 15 anymore I can like buy equipment 
and I have even more friends that I can use as a cast and I have new software for editing and all this stuff so I can actually make some pretty cool movies so I might try to make a couple little sci-fi video game like short films like 20 25 minute films since I'm already doing 20 minute videos for my other stuff on my channel but that's just a little rambling on I'm very ambitious about this channel I'm really trying to do some cool stuff here um, bear with me I got cool stuff coming your way I promise alright well of course as always thank you for watching so much um, hoping to throw a lot of cool research topics your way I'm talking too much this video should be over I'll see you next week thanks